I could just hang here all day. Like, we can do cafes where we like draw and stuff, but we have to do ones where we don't even draw. We don't yeah. do anything. <laughs> Let's get matcha! Thank you. Why are you in LA? Why? Yeah. I always wanted to. I mean, it's a very fascinating place for me. And there's a lot of amazing, talented, creative people here. That makes it really inspiring to work. Yeah, it's been, it's been really cool. And what do you do? I make music. Yeah, I, I produce and write songs. Answered once and for all for everyone asking. Oh, maybe I also do other things as well. <gasps> like what? Like um, test matcha places. Yeah. How would you rate the matcha? The matcha? Wait. Before we go on, I briefly want to take a moment to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Vivaya. Throughout all of my travels, I've carried only two pairs of shoes with me. The first being these super beat up sneakers that I think I got from a flea market. The other pair are these super comfortable and lightweight flats from Vivaya. What's really cool about them is that they're made from recycled and responsibly sourced materials. Each pair of their flats is actually made using six recycled plastic bottles. They also come with detachable ribbons and I think when I saw those I was just sold immediately. I've always wanted a pair of like ballet inspired shoes and I love that these just give you this dainty fairy like aesthetic and yeah they've just been super fun to style. Another cool thing is that they come with these eco-friendly deodorizing insoles that have um, different layers, but one of the layers is made using the same foam they use to make your yoga mat. So as you can imagine, they're super comfortable. I can definitely confirm this. The insoles also have added herbs that help to counteract odor, but you could also just throw the whole shoe into the wash because they're machine washable. Love these. As you can see, I've worn them quite a bit. I actually already um, washed the insoles ones and that worked really well and they dried super quick in the sun. So. So if you've been on the lookout for a pair of shoes that is designed with care for you and the environment, I definitely recommend you check out Vivaya. If you do, definitely make sure to use my code NAY to get 15% off the entire website. They have plenty of styles. I definitely recommend you just take a little scroll and just see what they have. Big, big, big thank you to Vivaya for reaching out and working with me. I, again, I've, I'm just like a huge fan of their stuff, so yeah. So excited. How would you rate the matcha? The matcha? Wait. Seven, 7.5. Oh wow, okay. You? I rated like 8.5 out of 10. It's very fresh, tasty. Yeah, it's fresh. I feel like the flavor arc could be a little more exciting. For me, I like it when it's a little sweeter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool, but the place was so nice. Mm -hmm. I literally wanted to move in. Why did we only go at four? I was waiting for you. Oh, really? Oh. Well, I was always yeah. also waiting for you first. Oh. Today, this place, was. I spent $25, $26. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just not looking at my bank account in Los Angeles, it's really bad. But I'll just look at it when I come back and I'm just gonna cry, have a good cry and then I'll move on. It's so expensive, it's like, it's a normal like price for like Switzerland, it's like seven. We would pay that much in Switzerland too, but then you pay 
taxes on top of it and tips. So it, like seven dollars turns into like ten. Yeah, that's per so matcha. Whoa, that's so crazy. You heard Woo! it here first. Okay, anyway, this was such a good interview. Okay, now that we're all <laughs> hydrated and you got to meet Nemo, I want to share with you the ways that I spent my month here. So the first place we stayed at was actually quite close to Griffith Park and one of our favorite things to do there was go and play tennis. Some of the tennis courts there are actually free of charge to use so we brought our own tennis equipment and it was such a great way to be outside, be in the sun and spend time together. I really love this so much and I miss it a lot in Berlin. I'm going to play tennis in my big ass water. Oh, I feel like I'm getting acclimated to the life here. I can't imagine going back anymore. Ooh, skin is glowing though. Skin is glowing. It's that sunscreen glow. Anyway, let's go. Even the parking lot is gorgeous. I love the hills so much. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss this. This is actually the first time that I went to go play tennis here. And unfortunately, right before we arrived, all the spots got filled in. That's the kind of downside of them being free of charge is that there is no schedule. And we just decided to wait it out. I think we waited an hour, but then we got our own spot. Also apologize for the beeping in the back. That was just the sound the light was making. But yeah, we were just goofing around here. I really, really want to exercise more, especially as I'm getting older. I can already feel my body needs exercise and especially having something to do outdoors is so great. Another very memorable thing we did was go to the Hollywood Bowl, which is an amphitheater up in the Hollywood Hills. Hi! We're going to the Hollywood Bowl! What, what are we seeing? Um, like an orchestra. Nice! The whole experience from finding parking and then going up all these escalators and seeing a view, it was just so breathtaking. I didn't even know what the show was going to be, I had no expectations, but it was this kind of mix between orchestra and comedy stand-up thing, it was really fun. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Moving on to food and drink. LA can be such a fun place when it comes to food. There are so many different types of cuisines, cultures, everything mixed together. And so I put together a little list of places that I thought were good and I'd recommend. Um, yeah, these were just the places that I happened to go to. The first place on my list is Blue Bottle Coffee. I know it's a chain, it's like not super exciting, but I really like going there. I like the atmosphere and I have some good memories there. <laughs> Next is Say Cheese. It was just close in our area. It's this really sweet little deli kind of shop and they had some really good sandwiches. So if you happen to be there, I don't know, have a look. Speranza had some really good Italian food. I was genuinely impressed um, and the atmosphere was so cozy. I think they only open at night, but yeah, if you're looking for Italian food, check it out. Next, we have BCD Tofu House, which got recommended to me multiple times and I also went there and had such a fun time with Nemo, Victor and Danny. And yeah, it was really good. I had this kind of like pot with tofu and veggies and yeah, really tasty. Next is this place called Coffee M Co. I just now saw that I wrote it with only one E, but that's fine. <laughs> it's this really nice cafe in Koreatown, and a lot of people go there just to work, I think. That's what I did, and I had such a great time. They have indoor seating, outdoor, they have this roof terrace with 
fake grass, like really nice views. Yeah, I actually worked on my university application there. And even though it was very stressful, I was able to stay calm and collected because vibes were good. <laughs> Next is this place called Conbi, which Nemo took me to. It's one of their favorites. And I'm not kidding, it was the most aesthetic dining experience. Just the place itself, the graphic design. I ordered a sandwich and it came in the most aesthetic box. And it was just mind blowing. It was beautiful. And they have like Japanese kind of sandwiches and inspired food i think and then they also have french pastries it was quite pricey though so think about how much you want to spend if you go there <laughs> I never realized how hilly and kind of alive the cityscape is and I thought it was really beautiful to look at but also to physically move around and be either up on the hill looking down or be in the valley. That was just really fun and exciting. My stay was slowly coming to an end and unfortunately we never managed to go on that road trip up along the coast that we were planning to. We did however end up going on this sweet little one day trip to Santa Barbara with absolutely no expectations and just see what happens. We are in Santa Barbara. First impressions are, it's really pretty, but it has like a very holiday town feel. Like it feels like a tourist kind of city, but maybe I'm wrong. I got a focaccia and it's really tasty. I haven't tasted it yet, but I know it. it's warm. <laughs> We were just wandering around and honestly appreciating anything that came our way. Then I got this acai bowl, which was so good, and I was just That's regular just surviving and like having a good time. One, two, three. Hi. Afterwards, we went to this beautiful beach called Arroyo Buro Beach County Park. I hope that's how you pronounce it, which has limited but free parking. That was really good. And it also had this really sweet seaside restaurant and was overall super relaxed. Just had such a good few hours on the beach. Oh my god. Once again, I was just so in awe of the beauty of the natural world um, that you can find out here in California. It's just so, so pretty. How do you like it here? Show us what you got. Show us what you got. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And then we went to this farmer's market kind of thing that we stumbled upon. It was really cute. But everything here is kind of like Spanish inspired architecturally and it's beautiful. Nemo got some ice cream and we were just again walking around having a good time and then I also got this pie for the way home. Good stuff and everyone was so sweet who was working at the stands. Okay, we're leaving Santa Barbara. It was really nice though. Oh Definitely God. better than I expected. And we got this pie that I made. Mm. Yum, yum.
so much I want to tell you all and I thought the best way to do it would be to make some breakfast and catch up a little bit. I love bagels, but I definitely miss my European bread, <laughs> my rustico. Coming back here has been insane because if you remember, I went to LA in 2017. I, it just showed me how much I've grown as a person in the last five years and I look at everything so differently. I definitely see a lot more like really sad things and like bad things about this place but I also see a lot more like really cool things and opportunities like compared to Europe. Anyway, I am putting a very thick layer of cream cheese on here. Avocado is just a perfect breakfast food. I really wish, I wish avocados just grew everywhere. Like I feel like apples are pretty accessible fruits. Yeah, so I've been struggling with finding a balance, freelancing. I don't know, I feel like I've just been struggling. <laughs> Y'all, the last two months have just been struggle. Actually, a little more than two months. My friend Lavina and I in Berlin, like, we have just been going through it. We, we've just been in a huge fever dream. Things have just not been going to plan. I kind of, I think the best, like, the best way to describe it is like the universe is trying to teach me to let go of expectations, to be adaptable to surrender, let go of control. I feel like I've been really in like a control mood, which I don't want to give myself shit for. I think it's like me trying to get my life in order and get my shit together. I think I haven't gotten like the perfect recipe and balance of that yet, but I'm honestly, I'm so proud of like the person I've grown into the past few years. I think I put a lot of work into myself. Okay, so I just put a layer of avocado on here. Beautiful. Put on some cucumbers. I think it's just really tasty. I always love just like putting lemon on all my food. I don't know why. <laughs> some everything but the bagel sesame seasoning on here. Such a fun seasoning. Maybe I want to take one home with me. And then I just grab my cilantro and just grab like a big kind of, I just like bunch it up here. Ooh. Oh my God, another update is y'all. I applied for um, university and I applied for art history, but once again, <laughs> doing things the nay way, I applied kind of late. So I'm honestly like not, Trying to not get my hopes up here. Um, but yeah, okay, let me clean this up real quick. All right, here we go. These are the finished bagels. Let's give it a try. Mm. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.